What's up, it's Govia Radio. We are at Ultra Music Festival, day two with men that are on their ways to being legends in the game. Flux Pavilion and Dr. P right here. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Kick it in. <laughs> Ultra Music yeah, Festival. You guys have been in the game. A lot of people don't know that you're underground. Probably four years or something like that. Yeah, it's been about four years now. No, it's not that long in music standards. In the recent uh, uh, uprise of EDM, how do you feel about where EDM has come over the past four years since you guys have begun? I could kind of feel it going this way. All along, it's, it, I'm not as shocked as some people. Yeah, when I first heard dubstep and seeing what was happening, I always had an idea that it was going to be like a big. I could see it yeah. growing like from the early days. Yeah. The music's just awesome. Like, I've never heard anything like it. I could always see that it was going to happen. Yeah. As soon as I heard Rust go about four <laughs> years ago, I could tell it was going to get big. Four years ago, it's still before pretty. It's still before the uprise of the DJ. Within the past couple of years, everyone's becoming a DJ. How do you feel about? the scene and everyone becoming a DJ these days within the past couple of years. It's kind of like the zeitgeist or whatever you want to call it at the moment. There's always something like when we were younger it was like guitars, everybody wanted to play guitar. Yeah. yeah. And now it's sort of slowly shifted onto DJ. No, I don't know. Like I never really wanted to be a DJ. I no. wanted to like be a music producer yeah. and write my own music. But DJing's the only appropriate way of attempting to perform like the kind of music that we write rather than making a real ridiculous kind of life Where do your roots actually come from? I mean, we were in a band together like 10 years ago. Like, just a normal band, guitar, drums and stuff. Just generally always loved music, all sorts of different types of music. So, yeah, I used to play in bands and then play guitar and do acoustic nights. And then, yeah, and then play drums in a band at the weekends and then when in my spare time write hip-hop on my computer and all sorts of stuff. What projects are you guys working on right now? Um, he's just done his EP. I've just done my big EP, yeah. Mine's like on the way. Yeah, EP album came okay. out about a month and a half ago. I've got a new single with Dylan Francis that I'm working on, and another single with Steve Aoki as well. Nice. So we're doing that. But his EP is more exciting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing a few bits and bobs, but I think Method Man's the most exciting. Method Man? Yeah, yeah. I've got Method Man. <laughs> Were you guys high when you produced it? <laughs> I think he was. <laughs> I must he like did it over Skype, so he was like. <laughs> We're huge supporters of Dr. P and uh, Flux Pavilion. And uh, one last question: um, You guys are obviously fans of the EDM scene. Who are you here to see? What what acts are you looking forward to here? Or are you a fan of anyone that's? I haven't, there hasn't been time. There's never time. I mean, I've never seen Life Party play. I'd love to see Life yeah. Party. I've never seen anyone, to be honest. I'm, there, I'm always behind the stage when they're performing. I it's really hard. Never get a chance to yeah, actually like you get off and then the time's gone. Yeah. <laughs> so we're doing this when they're all out there performing. Yeah. No longer underground, whether you like it or not. The whole dubstep scene and the EDF scene is unbelievable. Keep banging out those hard beats, man. I really appreciate it. Flex Pavilion and Dr. P. Thank you for checking in with us. My name is Govia and I, I, my guys, nice pants, by the way. Cool, thank you. <laughs>